Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can place 3D car in a live footage and get a realistic render in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me and by the way if you like short 3d simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description so now without any further ado let's start today's video so here we are in after effects now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel so further right click on this project panel import select your file or else you can directly drag and drop your footage onto this project panel so again drop your footage onto this composition icon here so that it creates a new composition with the footage properties press zero for ram preview so here I filmed this video using my mobile device and intentionally kept a lot of movement here and also I have created an HDR of that place. So if you want to download this footage and HDR, I will leave a link in the description. So now in order to place 3D objects in kind of environments where the camera is not steady, first we need to track that footage first. So select this footage layer in the timeline and come to this window and enable this tracker options. So after that, click on this track camera. Make sure we have selected our footage in the timeline and click on this track camera. So it analyzes this footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done. So here our tracking is done and we got some track points here. So now come to this advanced options. Here we will get the average error value. So here I got this 0.68 pixels error. So anything below one pixels will be okay. So if you got more than one pixel, click on this detailed analysis button here. It will track once again and it gives lot more track points that may reduce this average error. So for this, I will be leaving with 0.68 pixels. It will be okay. Nice. So now let me select this track point. So I will select this track point here. Hold shift key select this track point and I will select this track points. I will select this track points. So here I want to place the object. So I have selected this track points. If you want to place your object here, we need to select the track points here. So let me select these three, right click, create solid and camera. So now here we got a track solid created. So let me increase the scaling, press S and increase the scaling here. And also let me rotate this. So let me rotate here as per the path here. Nice. So now if I play this, you will see that track solid will be staying in its position. So here our tracking process is done. So now let's create a new solid layer for element 3D. So go to this layer options, new create a solid. Let me rename this as element, make it of comp size and hit OK. So now come to this window options and enable effects and presets and look for element. So select this element and drop it onto this element layer. And now click on the scene setup button. So now we got a new window open to work in element 3D. So in element 3D, we can use only object files or OBJ sequence. So here I got this car model from Sketchfab download link in the description. So let me import that one. So in order to import 3D models, click on this import button and locate your file. So let me import the car model. So here you can see we got that file, select that one and click on this open. And alignment, let it be from bottom because we want the car to be on this grid and hit OK. So here you can see we got that car model. So now here I don't want this ground plane. So hold control key and left mouse click to select this plane. So this is the plane. So I will hide this out. We don't need that one. OK, so here we got this car model. So now let me add some materials to these rims. So hold control key and click on these rims and let me select a material from physical so i will select this chrome material drag and drop it so now you can see we got that material on the rim so now select the tire hold control key and click on this tire so this is the rubber material so i will make it black or else let me change the diffuse color here only select this diffuse color and let me change this to black and also reflectivity let it be black and refraction let it be black okay so here we don't want any glossiness for this ties so let me make this glossiness zero fine and now let me select the body so this is the body so for this we need glossiness so let me increase the glossiness value 200 and let me change the color of this car so select this diffuse color and let me make it yellow so I think this is fine. 
let me copy this one now come to this reflectivity options change the color to that yellow color and for this refraction also let me change the color to yellow fine so now increase the glossiness and increase the reflectivity a bit so let's change the environment first so if i enable this environment you can see the current environment so in this we need to select our hdri which i have shown before so let me click on this environment and let me select that hdri so click on this and locate the file where we have saved so here i got that hdri and let me import that one so we got the hdri here and let me make it a bit bright so let me reduce the gamma and brightness let me give it a bit bright and okay so here we got that hdri so the resolution is not that much good because i have filmed that using my mobile device it is fine we just want the reflections of our environment on these models so now we can see the environment here and now let's come to this glass so hold control key and click on this glass material so this is the glass material so i will replace this one with this glass material from physical and also i will increase the intensity a bit and now let me select these headlights so hold control key and select this material and for this also i will change the glass material so i will add this glass material and let me increase the intensity for this also so i will change the intensity to 50 and for this also hold control key and select this so for this i will apply chrome so let me apply the chrome only so after that right click aux animation set this model to channel one after setting this to aux channel one let's click on this ok button so here we got that car model so we need to place the position of this car model at the track solid position so now if i play this for example you can see this is floating in this 3d space so for that reason we need to copy the position of this track solid to the car model so for that we need to select this element layer come to this group one since it is group one we need to come to this group one expand this one come to this create group null expand and click on this create button so we'll get a group null created here so after that we need to copy the position of this track solid to this group null so select this track solid press p on the keyboard select this position value go to edit copy them now select this group one null press p on the keyboard select this position values edit and paste so now you can see we got the car model at this track solid position so now if i play this you can see it will be staying in that position only so now let's adjust the scaling rotation and everything so for now we can hide out this track solid hide it out and now select this element layer so since this is in aux channel one we'll be working in aux channel one so come to this aux channels expand this one channel one in channel scale let me increase this one so i think this is fine now let's rotate this one so come to this rotation options and let me rotate this along y-axis here the path is not straight it is bit slant so let me rotate this in x axis also so so i think yeah i think this is fine and let me increase the scaling a bit so now let me change the position here a bit so i will change the position here so that it stays on this path so now if i play this you can see we got our car model staying in that position only so now we need to fix the environment position so now if i come to this render settings where is this come to this physical lighting options environment here we can see we got this environment option if i click on this show in bg we will get our environment so currently the environment is not same as that of our video so we need to rotate this one so come to this rotate environment option and let me rotate this here so i will rotate this here like this so now you can see this is the exact footage here so we need to match the perspective with the environment also so this perspective will be matching so now i will hide out this show in bg so we will get the difference now we can see the reflections of the environment on our car model here we are missing shadows so let's come to the shadow options 
so in order to enable shadows we need to add a light in the scene so before going to shadows let me come to this ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion and also let me change the AO mode to ray traced so after enabling ray trace let's move on to the shadows so for that come to this layer options new create light so here I will be using this parallel light intensity I will reduce this to 150 I think 150 is fine and also make sure this cast shadows is enabled and for time being I will increase this shadow darkness to 100 so let me change this to 100 so we got light in the scene now but there are no shadows reflecting so select the environment scroll down come to the shadow options in this render settings expand the shadows and enable shadows so after that come to this shadow mode and change it to ray tracing so here we got the light in the scene but shadows are still missing so in order to fix that first we need to add a ground plane and we need to add matte shadow material so select this element go to the scene setup so now let's add a ground plane so click on this create button and add a ground plane here and let me increase the scaling to 2000 okay so here we got our ground plane so now right click on this plane model aux animation set it to channel 2 so in channel 1 we got the car model in channel 2 we got this ground plane both are in group 1 okay so before applying this match shadow option first move on to this after effects so click ok button so now you can see our plane is not at the base of these wheels because we have changed the values rotation values in channel 1 we need to copy the same rotation values to this channel 2 so first let's do that so come to this channel 2 rotation so now let's copy this so minus 7 in x so minus 7 so plus 22 in y plus 22 and z rotation is 0 okay so now let's match the position also so 1.29 1.29 in x axis and that's fine so now again go to this scene setup now come to this physical materials and add this matte shadow so now again if you go to this element 3d we'll get that ambient occlusion so now select this light and let's rotate the light here so now if i rotate this you can see we are getting the shadows so let me place this here so i think this is fine so here you can see the difference between the shadow this is not that much dark so we need to match the value with this shadow so select this parallel light once again come to this light options and shadow darkness i will reduce to 30 so let me see that so it is too light let me change to 45 okay or else let's 40 so i think 40 is matching and also let me reduce this ambient occlusion so select the element come to the render settings ambient occlusion and let me change the intensity nice so now if i play this you can see we got our car model in this live footage placed easily so if you want to move the car model here use only aux channels don't use this particle replicator position x and y in this main group because if we move this position x y or z our car model looks like it is floating or sliding on the ground so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye